Hello everybody, it's me Alex from the YouTube channel KCAF here. We're back here with another video. And as you read by the title, we're going to be doing a, a toy review of the um, Dragon Stars series uh, series 7 and 8. And they, those action figures, because I don't know if I've ever told y'all, but I'm a pretty big fan of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT. And I decided to do a review on these. And I got, pr I pretty much got all these for Christmas, kind of, but, or at least early. Whatever. Anyways, let's get started. So, who's first on the box? Let's check it out. And, uh,. Oh yeah, and th this is the set that comes with the uh, Build-A-Figure Broly, and uh, this is also the box for Vegeta. I don't have the box for, for Vegeta, um, Future Trunks, or Goku Black, but I have the boxes for these guys. And they got Vegeta right here. So, uh, let's see. So first we got Vegeta as number one, so let's take a look at Vegeta. No, the box is fell down. This is the worst toy review ever. Anyways, what up? So, let's see. well, let's compare him to a. Uh, I took the leg off of one of my action of one of my Marvel Legends action figures. I don't know why, but I got Sunfire right here. And so, let's do this. Let's co let's compare the size. Hey, yeah, they're pretty close to each other. Anyways, um, Vegeta stands like eh, about five inches tall. Um, let's check out the face. You know, I I kind of don't really like this face a whole lot because it's like, uh, pretty flat, and then the hair is just way too long. A little bit maybe if it was just a sh little bit shorter and had more detail and that uh, McDonald's hairline <laughs> gotta bring it down a little bit lower now I've heard a lot of people complain about the face itself but to me it looks pretty good anyways you got his Dragon Ball Super outfit when he's training with Whis and looks as I mean let's look at the accessories so all he comes with since it's Dragon Stars and not SH figure arts comes with a pair of hands, well, grippy hands, you know, let's just put one on, just for a good measure, so, pretty easy to take off, just gotta open this, ow, there we go, got it off, anyways, so then you just pop this in, okay, maybe not, <laughs> I gotta get this in just to show you. Ow! This thing's trying to kill me. Alright, this. Ow. This thing does not want to go on here. Normally it always does. Come on. Come on, come on. Alright, I got it on. It didn't make that set. Oh, great. Came off again. I was about to say, it didn't make that satisfying popping noise that you get when you put something on. Alright, here we go. So, well, you, you can imagine what it's supposed to look like. Anyways, let's do a rundown for articulation. So, head can move a little bit up and down, not a whole lot. Um,. It can do a full 360 spin. The arms, the shoulders can do a full 360. Um, Y'all probably can't see this at all. So, head, we got the shoulders, the, we got a double jointed elbow right here. And the hands can twist 360 and go up a little bit down like that. And can swivel a little bit, and you got a, a little bicep 
joint. I think this is the bicep. Do it. I can rotate a little bit. Then you got a little. Okay, the waist can uh, twist. Full 360. The legs can go up about that much, and then back about that much. And there's a double jointed knee, and the feet can swivel. So that's pretty much it for Vegeta. Now, uh, frick nuggets. Oh, but yeah, he also comes with the build a figure Broly thing. Why isn't this working? The one time I tried to film something like this. Yay! It got one on, finally. So that, that's Vegeta for you. I put back his atrocious hands. Wait, I don't think I even used atrocious correctly. Whatever. So, this is not the Dragon Ball Super Broly, it's the Dragon Ball Z Broly. Frick, it fell down. How about this? Let's look at that hair. It's pretty nice. Alright. Now, the next one is Super Saiyan Gohan. And, I don't really like this figure a whole lot because... Here, I'll demonstrate to you. Really hard to move him. But anyways, he's pretty much got the basic Goku body. And, uh, I'll just give you a rundown of his articulation. He can, he can look up and down, side to side, just like Vegeta. A full... 360 degrees spin. Arms can rotate, kind of. He's pretty much got the same articulation as Vegeta. But this is hard to do. First, you got your double jointed elbow. You got his hands. Now, because right in his hip is a ball joint, and how you can tell it's a ball joint. Oh, there you go, that's your ball joint. Now, be careful with this, because this thing loves to pop in half. Uh, okay, anyways. And his feet can move a little bit. He's got a, he's got a single jointed knee, unlike Vegeta. He can do a full 360 spin at the waist. And, um... Pretty much it, kind of for Gohan. Now you got Gohan's hands. I'm gonna attempt to put Gohan's other hand on. Please work. Oh my God, God help me. <laughs> this is not going so well. Why? Why? It's, it's, it's gonna happen, I think. You know, whatever. Anyways, let me just put the fist back on. I thought I broke the joint there for a second. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, that's pretty much it for Gohan. And then, as for the Broly accessory, you got the body for Broly. That's muscles and all. Then you got Broly's little necklace that he wears. Anyways, now let's get on to the one I've really been waiting for for a while. I'm finally happy that I got it. Now he's already out of the box, but Ultra Instinct Goku. You already saw him probably when I was showing off them. All in the same little thing, whatever, anyways. Here he is. Now, the most important part. The little tears right here, or at least for me, I like the sculpt right here. They did a nice job. I like that. Now let's take a look at the hair. 
that hair and that face is like nice. I, I like this figure. And let's go and articulate. Let's go uh, a rundown of his articulation. You can look up a little bit, down, side to side again. Um, his little swivel right here. Now, because he's not, go he's, he doesn't have like a shoulder sleeve up here. His shoulder can move, do a full 360 degree spin. Got his double jointed elbows. And then you got his other hand, I mean his other arm, you got his hands. I, unfortunately, his waist doesn't like hunch back or anything. It just spins like Vegeta's. And you got his legs, and then single jointed knees. Or, is that single jointed or double jointed? I think that might actually be double jointed. And then, anyways, then you got the legs, and you got the tears in the legs too. Or the, the pants, I mean. And yeah. That's pretty much it for Goku. I'm not even going to attempt to put his hands back, uh, to put his other hands on. Anyways, as for Broly, let's check out, let's, can I even put his arm on? I mean, his hand, ah! Uh, Broly's too powerful for even my camera. Yeah, I did it! Uh, yeah, I can't do stuff. Ah! Yay, I can do stuff. <sighs> Alright, I did it. Now let's take a look at Vegito. I like this figure. All that paint and detail. It's pretty much got the same body as in build up as Gohan. Just diff just different paint and different uh, head sculpt. And he also has gloves and different shoes. But, uh. <coughs> sorry, that was my dog. Bella, be quiet. I'm trying to do a toy review right here. <laughs> Whatever. Let's do a rundown of Vegito. Now, it looks up and down, side to side. He's got a shoulder sleeve, so it kind of gives him a little handicap when it comes to articulation. But it moves better than the other ones. So his arm moves up and down. Twists right here. Double jointed elbow. Same stuff over here. He can lean down, back, or lean forward, lean backwards. Twist full 360 degrees. And he can also do the thing that Gohan does where you put it, break him in half. And then as for. Uh, feet, I mean, legs, pretty pretty much the same as Gohan's, except mine's are, mine is just a little bit more slick, and it's easier to move, I think I used slick correctly, anyways, this was the first figure that I got, so I like this one, and I'm not gonna attempt to put the hands on, but he does come with his little, um, I forgot what this is called, like, I think it's just called the Keyblade or something like that. But luckily, this can go on. Anyways. I, I wish they did what they did with the Dragon Stars uh, Zamasu, where you just get an extra karate chop hand to put the blade on, but I like this. It could be like, like Goku and Vegeta fuse and fight a otherworldly dimension version of Ultra Instinct Goku. Anyways, it's like, raw. I'm cooler than you. Oh no, it came off. Whatever. Anyways. That's Vegito. And... Come on, I swear you... Hands! I need a hand here. I looked wrong in every way, but whatever. <laughs> Um, so that's Vegito for you, and he comes with Broly's other arm, his left arm, and then you got the one with the most accessories, you got Future Trunks, but Future Trunks for me has a little problem, just watch.
that's not supposed to happen. Gohan's leg kind of sometimes comes off too, but not not as much as future trunks. Like, I put him in the box, take him out, boom, his, leg, his foot's gone. Anyways, so for future trunks, let's, let's do a rundown of his articulation. He, can, he, can't, he cannot look up or down. Barely. It can... And his head came off. <sighs> Things I do for original content. Or, you know, I said that in one of my videos. A day in the life of an orchestra or something like that. Dang it. I swear. Work. Do you even lift, bro? <sighs> You know, whatever, let's just, his head, I'm gonna put this back on later. His shoulder does that. And it can move, double jointed elbow, hands, same thing here. He can twist. And, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna put this back on. <laughs> whatever. And then, legs. Yeah. Now let's just take a look at that. You know what? Whatever. Let's just take a look at this head. Yeah, it's pretty, he's he's he. he yeah, what? You know what? Never mind. Whatever. I like this. Um, he's got a nice head sculpt. I also like that he's got a tear in his little Caps Corp jacket and a tear in his pants. Now I'm gonna try to fix this if I can in any way possible. Cause uh, I still gotta show you what some of it. Some of his, yeah, I did it. Some of his accessories. He comes with a sheathed sword or, or sword in the sh his sword in the sheath, and let me just put this back in there, and let's put this bad boy on, and uh, this looks so tacky a little bit. This sword does not want to stay on his back. Anyways, that's what he looks like. He also comes with an extra hand. Or extra, extra pair of hands. So that way, you can put on this. I swear. You can put on. Why is, I, why is this as soon as I start recording it, it does not want to work? It, this thing works all the time. I don't, literally, like, literally, like, I was playing with, with these things a few minutes before filming this. Whatever. Anyways, uh, you got the idea, I think. Sword's supposed to go in there. C can I please just get... Yay, it worked! Now let's take this out of here. And he's supposed to look like, uh, he's... Pulled his sword out and ready to kill Goku Black or something or someone. Anyways, that's what he looks like. And, oh god, he comes with a uh, Broly's leg, one of his Broly's right leg, and then uh, yeah, that's it for Trunks. And he got one of my personal favorite characters, it's like hair or something on the camera. You <laughs> got Goku Black. Now let's look at that face sculpt, cause like, I like this one. This might actually be my favorite figure. I mean, Ultra Instinct Goku is my favorite figure, but I mean, detail wise and like quality wise, this is my favorite. And it, while it does have the shoulder sleeve right here, you can like, it's made out of like soft plastic, really soft, so like you can move it however you want. It kind of squeaks a little bit. Like a freaking mouse that he is. But I like this figure. It's pretty... It's like... It's like a harder plastic than the other ones, but... It's a hard plastic that doesn't feel like hard plastic. You, it feels like plastic that's not hard, but it doesn't feel like it will break. And then... He can... Hunch, hunch a little bit forward. Go a little bit back. He's got his double-jointed elbows. He's got his hand with the time ring. And let's also check out his other hand. 
His other hand also has a time ring right there. <laughs> and he's got his little belt. And then he's got his knees and his feet. Now, you can also put Goku Black's little keyblade on. Let's just hope this comes on. I swear this if this is if this doesn't come on I will rage. I will rage. Yeah, it came on. Finally. And that's what he looks like. You will never defeat me. No. Whatever. And uh, those are his extra hands and crap and stuff and yeah, he, he comes with Broly's other leg. Now, without further ado, let's uh, grab all the Broly pieces, and we're going to make the uh, Lego Broly set. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's build this nightmare. Alright, let's look at how he's supposed to look. Oh, yeah, he's supposed to look like that. Too bad they don't give me any instructions. That would... That, that, I mean, that, that definitely would help at all. Definitely. Whatever. So, let's, I guess we just start with the head. So, let's put the necklace on here, I guess. Um, okay, let's do this. So, I guess we just pop this head on? Yay! We're, we're getting somewhere. I guess we just pop... By the way, this is my first build a figure for any action figure series that I've ever completed. This will be my first time completing a build a figure thing. Anyways, let's. Uh, okay. Apparently, this doesn't want to work. Yay! Pop it right in. <sighs> now, the tricky part is going to be putting in these legs. I don't, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Like, how am I going to do this? How? How will I do this? Okay, so... Let's, I'm going to try to show y'all how to do this. In case y'all lo are looking here for a tutorial. Don't know why you'd look here, but... Whatever, you know, there's always those type of people. Let's put in the left leg first, so... How do we... Hmm, maybe if I, like... Put this in here, like, will this work? Oh god, that's gonna break it. I tried doing this before, but like, it's not gonna. Please, 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 please don't break. It's not gonna work. Please, I, I just don't want this to break, cause like, that would be so sad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Broly, 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 broly. Come on, Reezy, broly. I mean, wait, what? No. I'm literally shivering. <laughs> it's over a freaking action figure. <laughs> no! This is getting hard. Am I going to do this? I'm starting to sweat here. Over a freaking action figure. I never thought I'd ever sweat over a freaking action figure. I swear. Great, the head came off. 
Broly, why? Just, just why, Broly? We're gonna try putting on the other leg. Let's just, let's try. We're gonna attempt to do this. Attempt number two. Like I said, I, di I didn't say, I mean, wait, I didn't say that I would build it. I said, uh, I will, you, you get what I'm trying to say. This is gonna be hard. Come on, please work. I'm begging you. This is literally not gonna work. I'm gonna spend 10 minutes building this probably. Too bad they didn't give me any instructions on how to build this correctly. Otherwise, I'd <gasps> I got it in! Yay! That's one leg. Yay, we got somewhere. Now we got put on the other leg. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a little bit hard. Yeah, he got it in too. All right. I feel like Vegito every time he appears. All right. You know. And if there's anybody here who watches Dragon Ball. <sighs> Whatever. I finally did it. I got the satisfying pop sound. So, like, yeah. I feel accomplished now. I mean, I feel accomplished now. Yeah, the camera's still rolling. So this is what the Build-A-Figure Broly looks like. Now let's do a rundown of his articulation. Oh yeah, in case you were wondering how I did this, there's a little joint, it goes, it, it moves like this way and that way, I decided to push it this way, so that way it'd be like balanced forces acting on it so it won't move, and then I just pushed the little whole thing onto it on the leg and popped it right in. Of course, it took me a while. Anyways, let's look at that face and the body. I like this. This is good. I recommend getting this. Now, his head can look a little bit up and down. Side to side. Full 360 spin articulation. As for his shoulders, really buff shoulder. His, uh, and buff as in too big for comfort. Like, he will barely fit in my box. Big. Ah! It's kind of scratched my hand. See that? And his little skirt thing, because uh, I guess Broly likes tap, to tap dance. It's really freaking squeaky. And his little thing goes up like that. Goes up on the sides. Like he's dancing. Like, I can just see this, like, like, Broly and the other people. You know, whatever. Or, like, he's trying to move his skirt away from the water because it's raining outside and there's a giant puddle in front of him. And his little flap right here. Anyways, his legs, really thick and hard to move. And his feet move. That's pretty much it for Broly. For, Bro for Broly and... We've got his necklace. Well, now let's look at his muscles. I got the muscles right there. <laughs> you know, never mind. Anyways, I like this, the green legendary Super Saiyan hair. Now, let's compare this to the other figures. Now, Broly is a builder figure. So, he's massive. I think the tallest one I have here is Vegito. He's way taller than Vegito. Anyways, let's uh, now it's time to rate these figures on quality and the ones that I recommend. So we're gonna do worst to best. So I think here we go. Uh, I think that uh, let's see. Anyways, so. From worst quality to best quality, 
uh, so it might it may be some of y'all's favorite character, but Gohan is just like the worst one because there's like. He can barely move. And he's squeaky when he does move. It sounds like a freaking broken bicycle chain. Trunks, because his plastic is just like very breakable. And as you all saw, it took me a while to deal with him. Vegeta. Um, honestly, between Vegeta and Goku, it's kind of a tie. I guess the only thing setting Goku apart from Vegeta would probably be, uh, well, see, here, let me point something out. You see that belt right there? Well, on the marketing thing for it, on here, the belt is blue. On here, the belt is blue. But on most of the other reviews I see of Ultra Instinct Goku, who, whatever company made makes these for with Dragon Stars forgot to do stuff, and so most of the reviews I see instead of a blue belt, it's a yellow, it's an orange belt. So I guess that's the only thing so setting them apart. That and also Vegeta's face kind of just like looks a little bit off. I don't know, maybe it's the yeah, it's definitely the forehead. Other than that, it's a pretty, it's a really good figure. That's the only thing that sets it apart. And you got Goku, and then Vegito, because Vegito is one of those, he's like a f cross between, like, Vegeta, kind of, and the Vegeta figure and kind of Gohan-ish. I don't, I'm not talking about the fusion, fusion is Goku and Vegeta, but like, you get what I'm saying, the qu quality-wise, because like, like, it looks like Gohan, but it's, but when you move it, it sounds just like Vegito. And that's why I like this one. Mm -hmm. And I know Goku Black is squeakier, but the only reason why he's above Vegeta is because, like I said, he's a type of plastic that feels really hard, but it doesn't feel that hard, and it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It's just perfect. And he's, I like that uh, he, his little soft plastic clothing and stuff like that. And then you got Bully. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Dragon Star's, uh, Series 7 and Series 8. Or, Series, did I say Series? Series 7 and Series 8. And, you know what, let's just do an extra action figure, because why not? You know, why not? Let's just do, like, Android 17 or something here. Let's compare him to Broly or something. Why not? He's freaking short. Compared to literally everyone except like future trunks. He's like taller than future trunks kind of Okay, shorter than future trunks, I guess and yeah, whatever Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Thanks you so much and I will see you in the next video um, Leave a comment if you can um, If tell me if I did anything wrong and so, uh, and then I'll just see you in the next video. So...